These girls saw the guys, and the next moment, they were already in love. Don't worry, they aren't Yandres. Here are 10 romance anime where the girl instantly falls in love with the guy. Before starting, this is a quick announcement to check out my new site, AndyTrending.com, where you can find tons of anime recommendations like this. If you don't, I'm sending a killer Yandre to your house. Number 10, because I don't like my big brother at all. Judging by the title, you can pretty much tell two things. One, it's a family drama. Two, it involves a Sundre. Even though she says, I don't like my big brother at all, it turns out she actually likes her big brother very much. I think the premise of this show is pretty obvious. It involves the good old brother-sister drama, but turns out there is a mystery too. Turns out this sister isn't in any of their old family photo albums. What could be going on? <laughs> Now, there are a ton of faults in this anime, including some bad character designs, overused comedy, overused family drama, and of course, the love triangle. Wait, I don't even know if this is a triangle anymore, but this is one of those less serious shows you can watch that survives solely because of its comedy and lighthearted tone. Just don't go expecting a deep love story. Number nine, a good librarian is like a good shepherd. <laughs> Turns out saving girls from accidents can make them immediately fall in love with you. This anime starts when Koyutaru Kaiki saves a girl from a train accident. In order to repay the gratitude, the girl joins the club Kaiki was in and even tells him to participate in a mysterious Shiomi happy project. Turns out this girl's goal is to make everyone happy. Once again, this anime doesn't do anything special. It is your good old slice of life mystery anime that involves a school club, one guy, a bunch of girls, and a main love interest that rivals those bunch of girls. But just like the previous anime I mentioned, this knows how to be fun. You can watch this, have a good laugh, enjoy some romantic moments, and have a good time. And this time, the character designs are done very well. Number eight, gamers. <laughs> The fans of this show have dubbed it as the anime of misunderstandings. Here, our guy hates gaming with other people. Instead, he likes to game on his own, enjoy his little victories, and spend time alone in his room. But the hottest and most popular girl in school eventually lands on his doorstep and asks him to join the gaming club. Does he say yes? No! So the girl runs out of the classroom crying. But that's only one misunderstanding in this anime. And these two aren't the only main characters of the show. There is another girl plus another couple, so you can see how their misunderstandings intervene to create even more misunderstandings. The writing of this show also feels a bit weak compared to other shows since the writers sometimes don't know where the show's heading. But if you need a fun romance anime to watch, this is for you. Number seven, Nyaruko Crawling with Love. This time, we've got a Lovecraftian monster turned into an anime girl. Come on, don't look at me like that. Anime turned King Arthur into an anime girl, so this is pretty lighthearted compared to stuff like that. And you know what's more weird? This girl right here was sent to protect our main character from aliens. And this girl is obsessed with our guy, too. Mm. 
But did you know all of these weird tropes with aliens, monsters, nightmares, and corny romances is what makes this show special? This show doesn't have any boundaries at all. And just when you think this show has reached peak weirdness, it gets even more weird. There's also a lot of good comedy in this show, and the main character is the type of guy who doesn't like the girl being obsessed with him. Did you know there's a planet full of cats? Apparently Elon Musk is still in the process of discovering it. But you know who's luckier than Elon Musk? This average looking anime guy. Just like every other average looking anime guy, this guy is lucky enough to make the girl land on his bed. And then the cat girl says she comes from a planet full of cats. Bad guys are out there to get her and she likes living with him. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This guy went from a guy without girls to a guy with both a cat and a girl. Similar to the majority of these shows, the whole show is pretty funny and lighthearted. And even though there is a planet full of cats, we actually see only a few cats in action. Like I said in one of my previous videos, this anime is for anyone who wants a human cat drama. Number five, Shikimori is not just a cutie. I think I've spoken enough about this crazy pink haired girl. This is that last push for you to go watch this anime. Why? Well, here we have a couple who is already in a relationship instead of a couple who are getting into a relationship. And Shikamori pretty much carries the entire show on her back. Her whole character design, voice acting, and personality is what makes this show stand out from the rest of the romance anime. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone knows the premise of this show. We've got a girl named Shikamori who looks like the perfect girlfriend anyone can have, but <laughs> turns out she has a really dark side once you press the wrong buttons. But guess what? Her boyfriend loves it. But this time, it's more about the girlfriend and less about the boyfriend. Number four, Orisuki. What if every girl in the anime loves your best friend? This is what happens to the main character of Orisuki. Both the girls he likes like his best friend. Yeah, that's right. The guy goes from the world's luckiest main character to the most betrayed anime character of all time. But is it time to lose hope? No, because this library girl still loves him. Does this mean he stands a chance? Of course he does. He's an anime main character after all. <laughs> The reason Reisuke stood out for me was not because of the romance, not because of the girls, not because of the high school setting we've seen a billion times, it's because of this guy. Yep, he's one of the most unique characters I've seen in any romance anime. His whole cynical personality and jokes are what carries this show till the very end. Number three, Yurise Yatsura. <laughs> This anime aired this season, so you still have time to binge watch the released episodes and wait for the new episodes weekly. And this time, the anime girl is an alien girl. Yurisi Yatsura is about a guy called Ataru who is sent to represent humanity during a duel between humanity and aliens. He gets to face a girl called Lum, the daughter of one of the aliens. Here, Ataru makes a promise to marry his girlfriend, but Lum interprets this as a desire to marry her. So, she comes in and lives with him. Yeah, yeah, you've heard this premise a million times, but did you know that this is a remake of an anime made back in 1981? This means that this is the show that introduced a lot of romance anime tropes you've seen nowadays. At first, I had doubts about the remake, but the studio definitely did a good job. It's one of my favorite romance anime this season, so make sure to check it out. Number two, Banished from the Hero's Party. <laughs> Oh, 
Here we have a guy who got banished from the hero's party, decided to quit going on adventures, settled down in a village, and helped the rest of the villagers. But is that all? Nope. Soon, a girl comes on finding him and then decides to live with him. Turns out this girl is also a princess. She's also a badass. She also wears a scarf. She's also pretty straightforward than most anime girls. So, in other words, she's the best girl of the show. <laughs> If you go to watch the show expecting some mind-blowing fantasy tropes or some epic fantasy battles, then you'll be disappointed. But if you watch this anime hoping for a cute slice-of-life romance anime, then you'll love this show. Number 1, Tonikaku Kawai. Ohayo? <laughs> And we end off this list with the most wholesome romance anime in existence. This anime starts off when a guy meets with an accident, gets saved by a cute girl, then gets a confession from the cute girl, and surprise, surprise, a few years later, she comes to him with a marriage certificate. Clearly, the logic of this anime flies out the window, but if you ignore logic and stay for the wholesomeness, you'll get one of the most wholesome romance anime ever made. <laughs> This is also one of the best romance anime to get released in 2020, and something that diverted away from all the usual tropes we saw. Unlike many other romance anime that make things complex by adding feelings, family issues, love rivals, and every cliche in the mix, Tonikaku Kawai simply keeps its story slow and interesting. The next season is coming in 2023, so watch the first season and be ready to watch the second season of this masterpiece.